All right, well, folks, it's like taking a sightseeing trip around the world without spending a fortune. We ventured out for this bargain Thursday and we had high hopes, but honestly, we didn't know what to expect. I got to tell you, though, we were delighted with what we found at the Tennessee Safari. You've never seen <laughs> buffalo like this, water. invading your space, crowding your car. 40 head of them, all hungry and ready to say hi in their own special way. People want to feed the animals and get it, get it closer and interact with them more. Oh, aren't they cute? That's exactly what you get at the Safari Park in Alamo, Tennessee a place billed as the wildest place in Tennessee. Look there, y'all. I think Aiden has a leg. Right there, look at him jumping around. Yeah. It's also a place where you will laugh and squeal and make memories. <laughs> as you experience the wild kingdom like never before, it's almost magical to watch the interactions between the animals. That's a Neil guy and an Elon. Okay. And the Neil guy's the gray one. You know, your eland are the largest antelope in the world. That male right there, he'll be 2,500 pounds when he's fully grown. The fact that you can get up close and personal with some of the world's most rare and endangered animals and really um, get a feel the soft velvet of their skin or of their fur, um, get face to face with um, a parrot, uh, know what the feathers feel like, actually get that involvement is really special here. That's the beauty of this family owned paradise. How far will he come in? As far as he can reach. He's both sides. <laughs> <laughs> Claude Conley's grandfather started collecting exotic animals on their Crockett County cotton farm 55 years ago. We traveled all over the United States. We always have, um, you know, trading animals with zoos and parks and things, but you pick up ideas from other places and things like that. It's now a dedicated conservational breeding center for rare and endangered creatures. By 2007, the family's dream of creating a different kind of park became a reality. They leased out the planting fields and opened the gates to the public. What they love the most is getting to see the, all the animals run free and things and that they come up to the cars. Uh, you know, right when they first come in, those emus and ostriches are just right there at the gate waiting. I'm scared, Mommy. You actually drive your vehicle through the park and ostriches, emus, camels, buffaloes, llamas, donkeys, deer, antelope, and many other creatures walk right up and eat out of the bucket in your hand. It's a ton of fun. Do you not feed these guys? <laughs> it was amazing. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot more than I expected it to be. They have all kinds of different animals, peacocks, goats. Goats are my favorite because they're so cute. This is an amazing journey for less than $50. A family of four can travel the world, but the joy and laughter and memories you make, that is priceless. Okay, y'all get your heads back in. I like it, but the ears scared me a little bit. <laughs> I actually have to like it close up. Close up. Like the animals, like not like a zoo where you like, you don't get to like feed them. But nowadays you can't even go to the movies for less than $15 a person after popcorn and everything. And here you can go through, feed animals, feed a giraffe and interact with um, some really amazing creatures. You can pay extra to feed Jerry the giraffe. And there are plans to allow folks to hand feed the lemurs like we did. The kangaroos are here too. They're fenced off for your protection. There's also a petting zoo a picnic area, and plenty more to keep you entertained. Honestly, it's hard to leave, unless you run out of food. So at the end, the camels take your bucket, and you're done. You'd love the camel. I showed you some other video of the camels. Mm-hmm. Wow, we'll have the out cues later on on, on a My Fox Memphis, but that safari park is in Alamo, Tennessee. It's about an hour and a half away. Take I-40 East to Jackson, and it's about 16 miles north. You'll see the signs. Join us in the 9 o'clock hour as they bring the Australian outback to Studio B. Rumor has it a kangaroo just oh. might hop in here. For a map and a link to the park, go to My Fox Memphis Facebook page or MyFoxMemphis.com. Is it safe to bring the kangaroo in the studio? I think so. Do you want to box it? I'm good. Are you sure? Yeah. I know you're a little 
nervous around the animals. Mm. Yeah. The wild animals. All right. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> this All should right. be fun.